but it's thank you so much, Dustin, uh, and uh, the Magic Ninja Entertainment team because he, they hooked me up. It was a sold out show last uh, night at Royal Oak Music Theater, and they uh, they got me two tickets, two tickets to go see Tech Nine and Hollywood Undead. Um. It wasn't until Tech Nine Tour that I knew that I looked up and Googled who Hollywood Undead was. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't know if I could. You know how like you get like with a tech album, I can listen to the tech jam on repeat. I don't know if I could do the same thing to Hollywood Undead. I found uh, I found a lot of their just to kind of be. The same drum set over and over, but you know, no, no, what do I know? What do I know? Why do I? But thank you so much. So we got Tech Nine Hollywood Undead tickets. Um, when we showed up at Royal Oak Music Theater, it was beef. It was like five thirty p.m., and we ended up going over to Hopcat to get some snacks, get some food before the show. We also saw the line of patrons around the convention set or around like. Not the convention, but the concert hall. Hollywood Undead was emo rap. They are still emo rap. Very much so. There was just a lot of the times that like, I found myself... You know when we listen to our phonic music, how some of you guys go, Oh, is this the same song? And I'm like, no, no. It's, it it's just sounds the same. They're using the same beats. There were a couple of songs for Hollywood Undead where I felt the drumming was the exact same. Just my respectful, in my opinion, observation... Um, and I was just like, huh, have we heard this song before? And then I was like, no, no, they wouldn't put two on the set list. Like, no, 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 no. That's silly. That's silly. But like, so they just, that's, that's just where I was like, huh, interesting. And then I found like, so like, yeah, that was, that was it. Those guys, they're buff though. Holy, holy biceps. Holy Hollywood undead biceps. <laughs> uh, we were eating doors open. The line was still wrapped around. We had parked for the Royal Oak uh, Music Theater. There's a parking structure just like half a block away, not even. And so you can actually go around and park on the outside of the parking structure. It makes it easier to leave. And so we parked there so it would be easier to, after we went and got dinner, go back to the vehicle, drop off coats, then get into line. But... What was even better was because the line was still so long, we just sat in the car. <laughs> we did that, that old people thing, and we sat in the car and watched the line progress significantly before we got our happy asses back out of that car and into the line. And then Sanimi said the great idea, like, hey, like, Dis, go check to see if there's will call before we get this all the way up there. And so I, I scampered to the front politely asked where if there was will call inside or outside and they said it was outside so i, I got the tickets and then met sanemius back in line hand it to the uh, inside uh, wrist uh, the what the id checkers and the security they were moving people along they moved me along three times through a meta detector i kept setting off I, it must have been so i was wearing a denim skirt and i put some safety pins in it that way when i was uh, getting my dance on i didn't pop my skirt open because like I know that's how you make friends but this isn't a place I want to start making friends in uh so <laughs> I, I think the safety pins were setting off the alarms I don't know or like all the piercings in my face but like, I have no clue why uh, I kept setting the the metal detector off but like I kept taking things off and lifting my skirt up and to the point that uh the two men were looking at me questionably I go you do is there a lady that needs to touch me we can we can we can go over and so she's looking at me and i like i pull my skirt up to like show her the safety pin uh you know that are holding like just second reinforcement because they oh it's the denim and so they just got the little buttons like <laughs> didn't want to twerk a button open all right that's just, that's just all they didn't want to do and uh so she i show her and and like i hold my arms up and literally i've got i've got like the croppiest of crop tops on too so she's just seeing full rib cage as well and she literally just goes she i go you can touch me if you want to and she just goes she gave me she gave me the universal please just take your shit and go <laughs> like the most polite <laughs> swag of car the most polite 
Bitch, take your shit and go. <laughs> oh my goodness. And of course, like I well, I like walked through taking the flannel off. Walk through. <laughs> I, I was, oh, you got into oh my gosh. Uh so we we make it through Cinemius just literally walks through the detector is everything's hunky dory. Uh, so I have to suit back up and put my clothes back on. Um, <laughs> we go to merch because the first thing you do is you go and get merch before the concert. Hollywood on deadline, significantly long. The tech merch line, not long at all. Strange music merch line, not long at all. What we found out was that a lot of the kids, there were two very different crowd bases here. You could tell that there were two very different crowd bases in the audience. You had your debonair Corvus. You had your your emo rapper, like, like scene kids. And, uh, and then you literally had your juggalos and technicians and, like, you could tell the difference. It was so noticeable that as soon as Hollywood Undead finished, the fans thought they were going to do an encore. But you and I know if you're an opener, you unfortunately really don't do encores. That's the main, especially when you just like slayed for a whole hour. Uh, They had some really hardy, hardy set times too. They slayed for an hour. And uh, when Tech came in, he starts with stamina. Perfect. Perfect way to start. Perfect way to start. 2002 is calling and they agreed. Wonderful. (laughs) Or is it like 2003 called? 20 years later. Wonderful. And uh, as soon as the bass drops, you could see Hollywood Undead emo kids noped out. It got so much more enjoyable once I didn't have a bunch of little kids pushing on me. <laughs> I would not have been to um, the two girls next to me. So we got really wonderful seats, uh, spots, because it was all standing room. So I'm going to send you guys over to my Instagram. That way you guys can click on the stories from my Instagram. And you can see where we were in correlations to the sound booth. Perfect seats. The only person that was in front of me was literally the person doing sound. I could see the set list and knew exactly where they were going, how they were doing, what it was, what was going on, when the mask was on, when the mask was off. Uh, like, ah. Uh. But yeah, so they started with uh, stamina, and the two uh, convention goers next to me, the one, the one. The one girl just had the, if you guys had the pleasure of meeting your lucky clover um, at Tenocon, she re- she had the same, she reminded me just of your lucky clover, but like three inches taller. Sorry, clove. Sorry, clover. Just how she was interacting with me. I at points I was doing a double take and there are moments where I I do did like some I said some of the things that like Clover and I uh say to her because I was just like oh my goodness <laughs> you're throwing me here girl <laughs> but uh the two the two girls next to me because we were right behind there's like a little barricade behind the sound uh booth uh they were there for Hollywood Undead they are neighbors to one of the uh, Royal Oak Music uh, employees. Uh, they were talking during the the venue. It was like this, that, and the other. And I'm not going to dox or call out, so we're just going to leave it at that. And uh, they're like, yeah, we're here for Hollywood and Dead. We don't know Tech. I was like, they're like, well, I go, yeah, no. Tech turns 51 in like two days. <laughs> and they go, what? And I'm like, they go, that guy? I go, yeah, yeah. And they go, oh. <laughs> They go, we thought Hollywood Undead was the headliner. And uh, that's when, you know, our friend told us, no, tech is so much bigger than Hollywood. (laughs) No, he doesn't. And uh, so a friend of mine was telling me, too, that their tour is dry. 
And I'm guessing because remember before the pandemic, tech uh, like said that he was out of shape and like was getting back into shape and was cut. So like I he he he's been he's been working out. He looks good. He looks good. You can check out his uh, Instagram because he he like showed like his little journey too through it all. Yeah, get it, dude. Get it. Hell yeah. He was jumping around and everything. It's like 2012 all over again. Yes. And it was one of the uh, so they did they did all of my favorites, all of my favorites. Do you want to know them all? I took a picture. I took a picture of the set list too because I was so close to it. Who wouldn't have taken a picture of the set list? Let me get to the set list for you. Ba, 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 ba. So he started with the intro, then went to stamina, then did unfair, Eba, Riot Maker, S O T G, uh, then uh, oh, what is this one? I can't read that. I can't read what uh, song he dropped before the Beast. Uh, it's alive industry. I am a psycho. Two W C, uh, the M W C, the W W C, the T nine X. Oh yeah. Uh, and then he did come gangster before he did a costume mask on, and then brought one, two, three, four, five, six songs wearing a mask on, six rap songs, and he just kept going one into another into another. This was probably one of the best. Tech nine performances I have seen in a decade. He was on point. Uh, we were talking because we like to talk about uh, the musical overlaying and all that on the way home. And you could tell that uh, like. No, it was it was he did a solid show. Solid show. And when it's not just the strange music team, too. In the past, hey, Modern Animator, how's it going? In the past for a Tech 9 show when they were going to the Fillmore, I remember like when he was rolling with uh, MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, they did a tour before Machine Gun Kelly sold out and started whatever he's doing now. Um, tech wouldn't go on until like 11 p.m. We would show up hella late to those shows because we knew Tech wasn't going to take the stage to like 11 the show finished at 11 and i was like man i've never been walking to my car at a tech nine show at 11 o'clock usually i'm like all right let's pop a red bull tech's gonna come out like it's it and it was just oh it was a good it was a good one it was a really good show so obviously i went and got merch i am a hat girl i love hats so I got myself a strange music hat. Strange. Check out that embroidery. You know I'm a freaking sucker for embroidery. So this hat embroidery ha is done by the same company that did my twisted woo bat hat that had the bat that the Halloween hat on the inside that I was like, oh my gosh, I saw this and I was like, oh, crisp embroidery come to mama. Uh, but like, check out this elevated two different thicknesses the center of the snake is a different thickness than the wings and the claws like just the attention to detail and then we've got the strange music on the side uh there is again nothing on the brim but i do i, I like the little extras as as a seamstress myself i love the little extras. so the fact that you went with the ribbon tape that says strange music on it is lovely i'm loving that you went and did the little like the nuances sewing in that tag is it did you guys uh, sew it in over top? No? Okay. Yeah, no, I like it. You got your strange music tab and then the, the ribbon tape on the inside. I think that's just very clean. Very clean. So clean, I had to have it. Now, as we were there in the merch line, on top of the counter is a vinyl. And Sneemus goes, how much is that vinyl? Dude goes, 25 I'm sorry, you guys had one signed Tech Nine album <laughs> for $25? I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> $25? What? <laughs> two, two, 
two uh two cd like what okay <laughs> all right what a steal <laughs> uh, and like yeah so yeah i feel like i uh it was a really good show it was such a good show chat i stayed awake the whole entire drive home and you know that when I get into a vehicle, Bone, I just lull myself to sleep like a little baby. Yup. There, yeah, and we double-checked, too, to make sure. Sidemius goes, well, we only had to pay that much. He goes, I made sure that it wasn't, like, the same. He goes, I made sure that we got the right, uh, the right sleeve. So, when you go to a Tech 9 show, you have to wear red. If you don't wear red, like, I just don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say to you. Don't know what to say to you. Check out this album! Red Kingdom. I'm not touching it. I just, I used the palm of my hand. Right, and that's just the one. So let's see what the, the second one is. And that with the second one is red too. Like, ugh. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna put that back off to the side. Oh! And then uh, the hat, 35. 35 for this hat. I didn't even check out the prices for their t-shirts because as soon as I saw the hat, I was like, I, I need that, I need that. Uh, I needed a black hat that I would be comfortable. I wanted one that you know I could just wear all the time. Wear all the time. And since it was black and it was a strange music hat and not just a, um, like specific to this tour, I didn't have to feel bad about sweating all over it because you know when your girl's twerking with her two new friends, hey! you know you you just I I needed to make sure that the hat was going to uphold, so it did. It kept the sweat for an evening. <laughs> Is that a Taylor Swift album? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I stand for Tech Nine as some of the Swifties do. I love the emotion he puts through. Is that a T Swift album? <laughs> it's a Tech Nine album. It's a, a little elevated, shiny text. Big old sign. Bam, bam. But yeah, only 25. Again, had a really good time at the Royal Oak Music Theater this uh, yesterday. Oh, I guess with two albums, it would be a Tech 69 album. <laughs> no, again, huge thank you, Dustin, for, for hooking your girl up. Um, we were standing by the gate, too, and Sanemius was like, man, this guy next to me just keeps stepping in my feet and keeps bumping me. Then all of a sudden, our, our friend uh, comes over with his, you know, and and gives uh, Trevor, or Sanemius, sorry, uh, a hug. And uh, all of a sudden, he goes, the guy stopped stepping on me. Guy stopped stepping on me. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, no, it was, it was good. It was good. We saw some faces we hadn't seen. I even passed out a business card. Uh, we took a really, me and my two new friends, me and Clover, because obviously I, I missed social cues of asking your new friends what their names are. Besides like Thelma and Louise, I learned that one is good and one is evil. I go, is that why one, you're wearing white and she's wearing black? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are too cute. <laughs> uh, they got creeped on by the dude behind her. Um, and the only, the, the way, how this, how did you bridge the gap and, and converse and make friends there? We we came together over everybody questioning. Did we just over here another convention goer talk about if her ex died, her life would be so much easier? And we 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 you could see that like we all overheard her ear piercing vocals that just like cut through the area we were all standing in, and like we all went. 
are we like accomplice list? Did we just should we? Huh? And so like the two girls were like, I think we just heard, and I was like, I heard it too. <laughs> and uh, after that, we were friends like this. Um, unfortunately, we took a photo together, and I uh, could not share thy cell phone number. I didn't know how to be kind and uh, be like, I, I, I seriously can't give you my phone number. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't open that can up, especially when I'm already seeing people at this convention or not this convention but at this concert that i'm like ducking because i don't want to make a scene <laughs> i made a scene on the way out uh and so like i'm like i would i would like see the teacher in me you know you peruse and like you recognize the children that you see all the time or the people that come to the conventions that you you run and organize and so i like make an eye contact with and like they weren't putting it together because i looked different and uh, i would like avert avert the gaze if you can't see them they can't see you <laughs> and uh, yeah it was it was <laughs> it was it was interesting but uh yeah, as soon as as soon as the girl interested in murdering her ex piped up, I was able to make friends by using that as a uh, conversational starting point. <laughs> we ended up dancing together. We were having a good time. The guy behind her though goes, "You're so beautiful. I know you got a boyfriend and I've got a wife, but I just want I was like, what the fuck? Do you guys need us to walk you to your car? <laughs> what, what's happening here? <laughs> you guys feel safe. You do? All right, cool. Awesome. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, but no, it was it was a good show. Everybody, there was there was, I think, six people commented me commented on my t-shirt. And I laughed because when I found out, uh, I was, when I was giving my, my ample and uh, redundant thanks to, to Dustin, he's like, yeah, I may have invited a couple more people on the list than uh, was, was asked. And I was like, oh, that explains then why there's so many, uh, you know, like uh, Juggalo shirts here. <laughs> and, he, and he gives you this <laughs> look. But every single time I pass, somebody wearing a Magic Ninja Entertainment t-shirt or a Twisted t-shirt or had the hatchets on their, their sleeves, they would be like, oh, nice shirt. Because I had the Red Generation Nightmare t-shirt on, if you're familiar with that. And uh, on our way out, I circled around a group because one of their crew was wearing an M&E jersey. And I was like, I like your m and &E jersey. And he's like, thanks. I go, you guys going to Astro 7? This is where I did some more work, some more, some more working. We could technically have taken this dinner that we had yesterday than Sinemius and make a write-off of it. <laughs> uh, and they go, we are at Fright Fest. And I was like, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it to Fright Fest. And, I, and uh, they're like, ah, oh, but I go, Astronomicon 7. And the, the girl stepped out to talk to me from the group a little bit. And she's like, yeah, we'll be there. I go, okay, I hope to see you there. And she looked at me. And I go... You know who I you know who I am. She goes, huh? I go, I'm the cosplay girl. And her face, you could see that like I literally took a sharpie and just put the pieces together. And she was like, oh, and I, I immediately turned around and, and with quick steps. Because more of the people in her group were like, oh, so nope, I don't I don't have any more news for you. <laughs> I, I just and run. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it was a good time. So I uh, I got I got dropped the ball. I dropped the little. See you guys in April. I yelled as I was running away. See you guys in April. I hope it's in April. I think it's in April. Hold up, is it in April? April. <laughs> Greeby, thank you so much for that lurk. Oh, but yeah, no. Oh. Tack nine. That was that was a good uh, a good birthday to do, a good a good birthday concert. Close out close out the birthday celebrations with a Tech nine show. Hmm. 
<laughs> it was so good. It was 